Let's talk more now about the uh, Friends of Syria meeting, what it may achieve. Uh, and uh, with us on the line is government consultant and political analyst Christoph Horsten is on the line from Berlin. Christoph, very good to see you tonight. Mounting Hello. reports that foreign military intervention could follow today's gathering. How likely do you think that is? Um, just let me say this to take the word of your able reporter. With this kind of friendship, uh, Syria needs no enemies. It is very, very clear that what happens in Syria today is breaking any law any international charter, the charter of the United Nations, there's gross interference. If they talk about whether they should, you know, militarily act in Syria, well, they are doing that, NATO is doing that right now under the table with the help of some corrupt Arab states, unfortunately with the help of our dear NATO friends, Turkey. So that is a very bad situation. We are lying uh, our teeth out. We are telling the people we are not engaged in military action, but in fact, we are doing that. We are guiding them. There's a German spy vessel off the Syrian Mediter Mediterranean coast, and they found turrets of a Syrian warship pointed directly into their face because they were, as the Syrians say, guiding German forces on the ground, secret forces, of course, but they are killing anyway, and that is the situation. The Syrians right now, they are catching, you know, French spies, British spies, Saudi spies, Turkish spies, and soldiers, regular soldiers, by the dozens, and that is a very bad situation right now. Let's talk about this meeting right now. I mean, the Friends of Syria openly opposes the Assad regime and supports the Syrian National Council, um, which is, of course, not even represented inside the country. Given all that, what outcome do you expect from the Friends of Syria meeting? Well, I expect two outcomes. One will be told to the stupid Western public, stupid because our media are constantly, grossly mispresenting what is happening on the ground in Syria today. They are always, you know, calling the shots on one side and not on the other. They say the government is killing so and so many people, but they don't say how many people are being killed by a terrorist-like opposition, an armed opposition. This has nothing to do with a credible democracy movement inside Syria. So the outcome will be one on the table. On the table there will be warnings. On the table they will be making steps ahead towards more sanctions. Of course they will need, you know, uh, Russian and Chinese support. I'm very happy to hear, as ashamed as I am as a German, that we are taking part in this bad policy towards Syria. I'm happy that Russia and China are not taking part in this very ugly conference. And uh, let me say they will be making advances but under the table they will reassure themselves that the secret war going on against yeah. Syria, which is not so secret in fact to anybody watching closely and watching objectively, <laughs> that this is going to be reinforced, but that will be under the table and not discussed openly. We're expecting to hear tonight after this conference, Christoph, um, that uh, they're going to recognize the exiled opposition as uh, the legitimate representative of uh, Syrians seeking peaceful democratic change, but do they really represent the feeling of the majority of Syrians. <laughs> yeah, that's another one of these dirty jokes. In fact, what we face here is some kind of, you know, prefabricated agenda. That agenda is helpful, you know, if, we, if the West is starting an uprising in Iran, it is helpful if they start uprisings all over uh, the Arab world and in Northern Africa, in Libya, for example, where the CIA started it from scratch, from zero. Yeah, there was no such uprising against Gaddafi. And then they, you know, uh, further it with international lies and Western media propaganda. And now they are trying the same agenda on Syria. But as we notice, Everybody in the world who is watching closely notices that this kind of agenda simply doesn't work here. The New York Times just yesterday has made headlines saying this op opposition in Syria is so badly disunited. They are so much, uh, you know, in trouble with each other inside this opposition that there is no real thing we can do, NATO can do politically right now. Christoph, final thought, well, we've got 30 seconds. The U.S. has made it clear it doesn't rule out giving arms to the Syrian opposition, which, of course, is also backed by al-Qaeda. Now, if this were to happen, how dangerous a scenario would that be? 
Well, I tell you, this is happening right now. They are lying all the time. So, and we have proved to that the Syrian uh, officials, the army, they are capturing these weapons. They are showing them to people who are interested in watching them. So this is happening. We are facing lies. We should no longer tolerate these lies and make sure that NATO right now is creating a rift between decent people in this world and the undecent policies, present policies of NATO. I am personally, I'm sorry to say that I'm ashamed of. Well, thank you for your thoughts and thank you for taking the time to be on the programme. German government consultant and political analyst Christoph Horstel speaking to us there.